If you feel like you are stuck somewhere and you wanted to start a new year with a fresh perspective then this video is for you. I have divided this video into the 5 different books which is all time favorite books and which I read, I personally read every year which is definitely gonna help you. But personally I think there is no thing as a new year like you don't require 31st December as a new year. I personally believe that if whenever you feel like a stuck then consider tomorrow is the new year. Let's say ki, whether it is January 1st, whether it is your birthday. Think of it like you will have the multiple new years throughout the year and that will help you to understand, that will help you to read a lot of books. So I have divided this video into the five books which will help you a lot to build a better perspective, better life which are one of my favorite books. The first book that I want to talk about is Somebody Is Today. So this book I have read like this year only and this becomes one of my most favorite book. It is a kind of a productive book which talks a lot about your time, your productivity, your life, your ethics, moral values and a lot of stuff. One of the key important lessons that I learned from this book is think about 100 year plan. Like let's say you wanted to do something and you are doing something and consider you have a friend which is like your own personality after 100 years and what advice that 100 year old will give to yourself. Let's say you are doing work on your laptop, you are doing something work and your child comes to you and they ask you let's play something, let's do something. Whether you will focus discipline on your work or whether what will you do in that case. So in that case ask yourself what your 100 year old person advice will give to you and if that is advice resonates with you then try to use that advice with your life. So that is something one important key factor which I learned from this book somebody is to it. This book is little bit costly in India which cost you around 1000 rupees book but I will highly 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 suggest you to go and buy this book somebody is today but if you are looking for the insights from this book then check out our newsletter where i shared a lot of insights from this book as well as check out our whatsapp group where we you know talk a lot about books and everything you know in details so this book is gonna help you a lot a lot in that case so make sure you join our whatsapp group as well as the new letter and buy this book which is somebody is today the second book i want to talk about is the diary of a ceo when it comes to understanding your career so one of the key chapter i learned from this book is majority the first chapter which says about you know the five buckets that you need to understand and those five buckets basically talk about first what you know which is your knowledge second what you can do that is your skills because skills are important who you know like your network why building important why building network is really really important fourth point what you have your resonance and what the world think of you your reputation so whenever you have a time go read this book or Try to understand these five points or try to answer these five, point, five points really, really honestly with yourself because these points are really helpful to build your career, to build your business, to build your network, to build your skills, like everything, whatever you are doing into the career are revolved around these five points. Let's say the first point is what you know, that is your knowledge. Let's say you know marketing, you know copywriting. You know sales, you know everything about that. So that is something your knowledge that is really, really important. Second, what you can do, like with that skills, with knowledge, what are the skills you have? Like I personally do marketing, growth marketing, advertising, those kind of things I do personally consult a lot of brands, you know, and the publishers about the book marketing as well as, you know, generic marketing, digital marketing, that what is that what I do, which is my skills and that is really important. Third who you know that is your network because building network as you grow older your network is gonna help you a lot like if you know a lot of marketing techniques if you know a lot of marketing if you know your network if the network knows you then that is going to open a lot of door for you so make sure you start building your network side by side the next part is what you have your resources like I personally know a lot of youtubers a lot of content creators lot of uh, you know advantages I have because of that because I know a lot of people and a lot of people know me as well and that is something key factor key differentiate factor as compared to your competitors so it's really important to build network and use that network as your advantage and the last point is what the world thinks about you so for me like when I ask people what they think about me they usually think about a book guy 
the per the people who the person who knows a lot of books the person who reads a lot of books that is something or they think sometimes think about you get a lot of positive vibes from you which is which i heard from my youtube uh, community as well as the instagram community and that is something i learned from personally as well so what the world thinks of you that is also important so try to figure out this five point from this book the diary of a ceo the next book that i want to talk about is the millionaire fast and then so that is the one book and the second book i want to talk about is let's talk about money by the monica hallen so these two books that are really important when it comes to understanding the finance so i have shared two books in this category and finance is really important while building your 2024 year so the millionaire fast list of millionaire fast land the one of the key important lesson from this book is live below your means that is the most crucial thing that you need to do whether you are into the life 2024 25 whatever the year it is always consider live below your means like like you know that you can purchase a lot of thing like you know that you can buy iphone you can every every year you can buy new things new clothes new car but the question is do you really need it do you really want it or do you want it to just showcase that to your people that you want it to just need a reputation and the status symbol so always focus on live below your means otherwise you are going to spend a lot of money you are going to buy loans you are going to go into the debt and you will always chase more and more money but if you start but if you started living below your means then that is going to help you a lot to build your career as well as your life and the second book that i was talking about is let's stop money by molika halal which is a great start guide for your finance journey like you wanted to understand stocks mutual fund bond home loan everything because those are the basics of any human being if you understand finance really well then that going to help you a lot to build your career so make sure you read these two books and the next book there is no introduction needed for this book which is all time favorite book and every year i recommend this book which is atomic habits and this book you already know that i how many times i have requested you to read this book how many times i have shared this on the instagram how many times i have shared this on the you know youtube channel everywhere on the whatsapp channel newsletter everywhere i talk about this book which is the atomic habit so i already made one video which is the power of habit versus the atomic habit you can check that video if you wanted to know the difference but i will suggest atomic habit is the one of the best book we you know when it comes to understanding your habits the one key important lesson that you would have wanted to take is build a system rather than any other thing if you build a system around your surrounding then everything falls into the place but if you don't have the system then nothing is going to work out like you wanted to go to the gym you wanted to go to the content creation you wanted to create a content youtube videos you wanted to work on something new you wanted to start a new project then first build a system like what is the system you that is going to help you to achieve that goal and try to follow that system for sure like i have failed this system to you know incorporate system in last 2 3 months because of so many other issues otherwise if you check out my youtube channel that the i have always been consistent on my youtube channel which is something i have created a system around that like when i wanted to script the video when i wanted to shoot the video when i wanted to edit the video so everything is systematic i do and that is something that helped me to you know stay here for the longer amount of time so that's always help you a lot so always try to build a system rather than any other thing the next book that i wanted to talk about which is a very very short book which hardly 60 to 80 pages which consist of the four laws that four laws is going to help you a lot to build everything in the life which is the book name is the four agreement so the he, the author talks about the four different laws in this book that you need to apply in your life and those four law, laws are going to help you a lot to build your dream life or to build your happy life i'm going to talk about the one of the two laws which is most favorite law first law is don't take anything personally like we take a lot of things personally let's say someone has said something to you or your parents had something said to you or any random person on the internet said something to you don't take anything personally because that is going to harm your brain that is going to harm your emotions and you might get into the anxiety mode depression mode or you might get sad as well so this the very laws in broads are very simple but that are most and most impact impactful laws in your life so try to do try to understand these laws even if i said these laws but when you read this book you read this example read these quotes in this book then you going to understand why 
these laws are important and why you have to implement those laws in your life so don't take anything personally and the next the fourth rule about this book is don't make assumptions so this is the second second you know kind of a rule in this book which is a don't make assumptions as we we all know let's say you are into the relationship as no or you are thinking about something then you always think about what will happen what will happen and you create a complete overthinking scenario about that specific topic but that is the worst thing you can do i mean you are ultimately making assumptions about which is going to happen in the future you don't even know whether that is going to happen or not so the simple rule that you need to apply in life whenever you are into the point of making assumptions then think about whether that is evidence based or whether you are just making the assumption let's say you are into a relationship and you are thinking about what your you know partner is doing why she is not into me why she is not thinking about me why she is not liking me so that is a kind of overthinking loop you start getting into that and it's all started because of you made one assumptions so don't try to make the assumptions so these are the two important rules that i learned from this book the last book that i wanted to talk about is the psychology of the money amazing book the last year best seller and he the author has launched another book you know uh, stay what it is that we will talk about that book in some another video but you know the psychology of money the one key lesson that i wanted to talk, talk about is always focus on the freedom as a goal like freedom should be your goal like freedom from financial things freedom for responsibilities freedom for taking actions like freedom keep it as a freedom as a top level goal and then then start dividing your money assets then start dividing your life into the different assets so as when you keep freedom as a goal because when you have the freedom then you can do a lot of things you don't have to think about anything you don't have to think about money you don't have to think about a lot of options that is available into the you know your life so the major goal that you need to focus on is freedom as a goal and when you try to achieve that freedom as a goal then most of the things in life get sorted out it this book also talks a lot about you know saving money in debt then you know showing your showing your status everything but the one thing that i want you to understand from this book which is the freedom as a goal so always think about freedom as is your ultimate goal and try to do everything from that perspective as a freedom as a ultimate goal i have also shared a lot of points from this book into the newsletter as well as the whatsapp channel so make sure you join those channel for you know for your update as well so you are going to help a lot in that case so these are the five books that i want you to read from the 2024 not exactly the 2024 i have no idea when i will upload this video but whenever i upload this video then make sure tomorrow or the today is the new year for you and you start reading these books from that day only then and then only this video will be successful for me and if you are going to do this then let me know into the comment section because that is something really important for you so if you are looking for more you know book recommendation then check out this video that is going to help you to get a lot of book recommendation if you are new to this channel then check out this video because this is something really important video about the audio books that i have made uh, if you are into the audio book so that's all for the today's video see you in the next one bye bye